Indy Mogul. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hollywood Effects. This week, we're in Southern California at DreamWorks Animation Studios. We're gonna talk to some of the talented people that brought you Monsters vs. Aliens. Let's go. Can you give us a quick breakdown of what a, what a person head of effects does for, for animation studio? Well, uh, what we do is we just look at the show for the effects and work on bringing, making sure that we could do it all first and then um, just getting the quality up to a level. Just make sure that all the effects look great. We have a lot of huge characters, so, so they're, you know, 300, 400, 400 feet tall. For the effects department, we just wanted to make sure to keep the scale of the character. So let's say if a giant character is falling into the water, you know, that the splashes are, a lot of detail splashes are nice and slow. So we normally do everything digitally, so it's rarely that we would model things out. But uh, it turns out that if you um, want someone to really visualize a set, it makes sense to build things out. Yeah. And then, you know, people understand, hey, you know what, if this is the Golden Gate Bridge and this is one span of it in the tower, that's Susan for you. Right. You know, she's 50 feet tall. She's, she's big but tiny in comparison to this uh, big structure. We decided to make the bridge a character. Normally, this bridge would have been a static model. The character animators would have been told, go in there and just make his hand go through the bridge. Later, we'll make the bridge react to it. That wouldn't have worked in this case. It has to move and there are objects on top of the bridge. So once the bridge moves, everything on top of the bridge has to move. It was given controls so that you could move it, you could tilt it, you could do all these actions on it, and you can see here. If I, if I flip left eye, right eye, uh, left eye, right eye, yes. you can see this, it looks like it's rotating yeah. more than anything. And that's exactly the same thing that happens when, you know, in real life, if you hold your hand up and you close left eye, right eye, right. or if you look down your arm and you close left eye, right eye, you feel like you're getting this rotating oh, angle. Yeah. So when they're put together, you would never perceive those. You can't see it in the yeah, theater no, at no. all. And with a single digital projector, we're projecting a left and a right image through one lens. So literally what we have is left and right going in, the projector buffers it into its memory, and it projects left, right, left, right, left, right at 144 frames a second. Nice. Now our film is still 24 frames per second in content. You can, you can look at the digital 3D now, and it's, it's just rock solid. This week on WePC TV. What if you erased like FDR's identity? So it's Whoa. like, there was a president here. And it has the yearbook the photo with the question mark, just the yeah. cartoon like. If I could erase anybody, anybody's identity, anyone, it would either be Katy Perry or the Fred guy from YouTube. WePC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside. Hi, I'm Moby, and you're on IndieMogul.com. So I'm here with Damon, and he is head of layout, correct? That's correct, yes. And you are going to tell us about this amazing new technology that you guys invented. You can see we're in a 3D package here. In this case, it happens to be Maya. Uh, you see a CG camera that's in there that mm -hmm. we click on. If we want to animate the camera, we um, choose, a, choose a start frame create a camera position in between yeah and it, it, it recalculates between those positions to give us a camera move you know from my perspective we've always looked at live action and gone god it's so it's so cool how <laughs> the camera feels like it's driven by an operator it feels real it has all that natural overshoot that we spend a lot of time trying to key and so we've always really wanted to capture that what you're looking at here which is uh, state-of-the-art uh, wow. 3d uh, virtual camera and you can see immediately that this is now a, a physical camera yeah. that is driving the camera in the computer. You can take it off and you can mount it on it to anything, but this is now a physical camera that I can actually walk around the set. You know, I can look around. To be honest, I'm looking at this and it's so used to like looking at a viewfinder and you passed it past me and I almost like I wanted to dodge it out of the way of the lens. <laughs> and the way this works is, is a, there's a whole lot of uh, tracking beams that come off the roof and then it basically calculates the space. So all these black strips? Exactly. We can scale this room. We can make this room bigger or smaller. That's what the toggle, like the little Nintendo okay. toggles are for. So we can, we can make this room uh, the size of a football field and you can cut across a football field. For the first time interactively, like live action, we could, we could just like work the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. exactly. I mean, it just adds that whole other we're level of join, filmmaking. Yeah. We're going to join pretty soon. Movies will have such fidelity that you won't make that distinction anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, yeah. 
as that, like you said, that live event is huge. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I might borrow that. Copyright, sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I got a response of that. That's cool. <laughs> Hey everyone, do you want to see even more DreamWorks awesomeness? Then go to this link and check out the special report I did for Channel Frederator. It's in 3D. No, it's not, I'm sorry. It's just regular D.